Hi kids! Today we are going to read three letter words. Are you ready? That's good! A -t. A -t. How do you read that? Ant. And there's Mr. Ant! Hi Mr. Ant! We just read A Is a at. At. bat 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 and there he is hi mr bat see you tomorrow so we are done with a b and now we're going to proceed to letter C. You are correct. C for Shiera. Or C is for K. K. Cat. Cat, you are correct. Next is sounds like. Dog, say hi to the kids. Do, oh, do, oh, do, oh, dog. Can you see how we blend the sounds of each word to produce the sounds of the word as a whole? Dog. Next is letter E. 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 Egg. <gasps> Did you know that egg is a superfood? That's why egg is one of my daughter Olivia's favorite food. Is this one of your favorite foods as well? That's good. Next is Fig. 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 You're getting the hang of it. Give yourself a big round of applause. Next is. I'm trying to get our next word. G -et. G -et. Get. And next is a at. At. Hat. You're correct. It's a hat. G -a -r. G -a -r. Char. Next is k it k it k it kit kit. Next is a u o g u o g log. Good job, kids. Next is a. This is my friend. Hi, Miss Map. I'm teaching the kids how to read your name. Are you ready to read Miss Map's name, kids? Okay. You're still there. I was just taking a nap. Next is I have a pen. We 
use the pen to write. P -e -n. P -e -n. Pen. Next is R -a -g. R -a -g. rag. Next is mm, that's what I'm doing today. I am not standing. I am sitting. Next is ten. T -e -n. T -e -n. T -e -n. ten. Beep beep. Beep beep. It's a v a n. V a n. It's a van. Do you know what this is? It's a wig. 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 Just to have a recap, we are going to do the sounds of each letter from the alphabet. Ready? Here we go. Hi kids! Today we are going to read sentences. We are also going to study about the colors that we can see all around us. Are you ready? Yes! Yay! You make me so happy because I can see that you are also excited for today's video. Our first sentence is A cat is on the mat. Say it with me. A cat is on the mat. One more time. A cat is on the mat. There's our cat! Yeah. And what is the sound of the cat? Meow, meow. Good job! Our second sentence is Dan has a fat dog. Let's read it again. Dan has a fat dog. Now let's read it together. Dan has a fat dog. One more time. Dan has a fat dog. Good job! There's a van. A man has a van. That's our third sentence. Can you read it with me? A man has a van. One more time. A man has a van. Wow! Do you want to drive a van too when you grow up? Yes! Me too! Our next sentence is We run for fun. Let's read it again. We run for fun. Now read it with me. We run for fun. Yay! Oh, a kid is sad. A kid is sad. Just like this baby 
short. This pink short is sad. And what do we do if somebody is sad? We can help them feel better. We can talk to them. We can make them feel loved and cared for. We can also hug them. Sadness is just a normal human emotion. Just like joy, anger, fear, and disgust. I feel sad, and I know you feel sad too. And that's okay. When you are sad, you can get a hug from your mommy or from your daddy. Sometimes when I feel sad, my daughter Olivia will just give me a hug. And it makes me feel better. Our next sentence is... Her bag is red. Her bag is red. Now this time, read it with me. Her bag is red. Yay! And speaking of red, I think now it's our time to move on and study about the colors. May I know your favorite color? Oh, that's my favorite too! I love that color. Colors just make everything so wonderful and pleasing to the eye, right? Especially when you see a rainbow. Do you like seeing rainbows? Me too! The colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Red. I like the color red. An apple is red. Cherry is also red in color. And also a ladybug. Orange. Two of my favorite food are orange in color. And these are pumpkin and carrot. And do you know what else is orange in color? Orange! Here's an orange. Do you want some? Yellow, banana, mango, and sunflower. Next is green. Can you name an object that's green in color? You can see it almost everywhere. When you walk around the neighborhood, you go to the park, you can see a lot of this. Tree! And also grass! Broccoli and turtle are also green in color. I like green most especially because it brightens up my day. Next is blue. Sky is blue. And our last two colors from the rainbow are Indigo and violet. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, indigo, and violet, too. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, indigo, and violet, too. And those are the colors of the rainbow. See you again, kids, in our next Diary School videos. Bye! Apple, ah, uh, ah, uh, apple, apple. In Filipino, manzanas, manzanas. Hmm. English and Filipino. Are you ready? Yay! Ball. Ball. In Filipino, bola. Bola. Cat. K -k Cat. In Filipino, pusa. Pusa. Dog. D -d Dog. D -d Dog. In Filipino, aso, aso.
Passo. Egg. Eh, eh, egg. Eh, eh, egg. In Filipino, itlog. Frog. Frog. In Filipino, pa la ka. Pa la ka. Pa la ka. Goat. G g goat. G g goat. In Filipino, kambing. 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 Hair. Hair. Sa Filipino, buhok. Buhok. Eyes. It's so cold. Eyes. So cold. Yellow. Whoop, and lamig. Ang yellow ay malamig. Yellow. Tara, magpalipad tayo na. Saranggola. This is kite in English. Kite. K -k kite. K -k kite. Sa Filipino, saranggola. Saranggola. Mm -hmm. Monkey. Mm -hmm. Monkey. Sa Filipino, unggoy. Unggoy. Nose. Nose. Sa Filipino, Ilong. I, I, ilong. K, k, queen. K, k, queen. Sa Filipino, Reina. R, r, reina. Reina. Next is, Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. Sun. S -s -s Sun. Sa Filipino, araw. A, a, araw. T, t, ten. T, t, ten. Sa Filipino, sampu. Sampu. Hindi diez, because diez is Spanish. In Filipino, we call it sampu. Sampu. Since we already talked about ten, now can we count from ten going to one in both English and Filipino? Yay! Ten. Sampu. Nine. Siam. S -s Siam. Eight. Walo. Seven. Pito. Six. Anim. Five. Lima. Four. Apat. Three. Tatlo. Two. Dalawa. One. Isa. Isa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Apat. Lima. Anim. Pito. Walo. Siam. Sampu. Yay! Good job, kids! See you in our next time in school video, kids. Bye! Hi kids! Today we are going to learn about consonants and vowels. But first, I am going to ask you a question. Do you know the alphabet? Yay! Now if you already know the alphabet, we are going to proceed in differentiating vowels and consonants. 
the vowels are only five letters. One, two, three, four, five. And these are A, E, I, O, U. These vowels sound like this. Ah. Ah. Eh. Eh. E. E. O. O. U. U. Now all of the letters from the alphabet aside from these five letters are what we call consonants. V, C, V, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Thank you, Olivia. Those are our consonants. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Alphabet American Sign Language. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hi kids! So, I'm going to spell my name. I have six letters. O, L, I, V, I, A. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye. Bye. When Al feels scared. Not far from here in an old hollow tree, live a mommy and a daddy. There's the mommy and there's the daddy and their owl family. The youngest chick is fearless. She's gutsy and she's daring. The middle chick will have a go. He's confident yet caring. But the oldest owl chick, even though he is the tallest, is often quite afraid of things. He's quiet and he's cautious. Out through the hole in the old hollow tree, stoop our owl mom and dad who take off silently. They glide and they circle. They swoop and they soar. Their chicks are oh so hungry. They squeak and squawk for more. I can't wait to go with them, say the youngest owlets. While the biggest owl brother, he fidgets and he frets. A few weeks later, at the old hollow tree, mom and dad appear with their owl chicks three. The youngest chicks look up and they leap towards the sky. Look, mom and dad, they say, look, we can fly. The oldest chick stops. He's as far as he can go. What if I fall, he says. 
the ground is far too low. In through the owl in the old hollow tree come the two owlets and their parents noisily. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why won't you come? They asked the oldest chick. Look, we found this feather. And look, we found a stick. Tomorrow you will try, says mom. And no more fuss. You can stay here forever. You must come with us. The next night arrives and the moon shines bright. Five owls emerge in the warm summer night with a tummy full of butterflies and fear in his eyes. Our timid owlet does a little hop then flies. A light flashes in the lane. A dog barks in the yard. Woof, woof. The baby owl races home, his heart beating hard. Tuk, 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 tuk. The very next night at the old hollow tree, a smattering of drops fall puzzlingly. The owl chicks stare at the strange new sky. It's rain. Mom explains with a long, tired sigh. But we still need food, says Dad eventually. So we must go. Come on, family. Our oldest owlet leans out to take a peek. And a few drops fall on his small white beak. I think I should stay here, he says. Someone should keep guard. Sometimes doing something new is just a bit too hard. So two owl chicks and their mom and their dad fly off to look for food while our chick feels bad. Flash! There was a burst of light. Outside the hole in the old hollow tree, thunder clouds gather and the rain falls heavily. Crash! What was that? Crack! Goes the hollow tree and then after that, out through the hole in the old hollow tree, crawls a scared baby owl who whimpers worriedly. Cannot see his family. Where could they be? Our feathered friend looks all around and cries out hopefully. Our owl is all alone. He must go out and find a home. Be brave on his own. What about that barn? No, another owl lives there. A shed looks warm and cozy till a cat gives him a scare. <sighs> oh, finally, the owl finds a place. In a tall church tower, and a smile finds his face. He sits at the entrance and calls, and calls, and calls. While the thunder rolls around him and the rain still falls. When the rain stops, his cry echoes around. Four white dots come into view. And then they're tower bound. The dots turn into four white birds. Our baby owl sings. And soon enough, he's nuzzling into mommy owl's wings. Wow, we love our brand new home. The younger owlets cry. A brilliant find. Add mom and dad, their faces full of pride out through a gap in the tall church tower when the church bells chime an evening hour come five barn owls glistening white and the owlet knows he'll be all right new things sometimes scare him and he still does not like rain but he knows that if he once was brave he can be brave again. The end.
Maganda po ang libro na ito kasi tinatalakay nito na okay lang na matakot. Normal na emosyon natin yun. Lalo na pag may bago, ba diba? talagang matatakot tayo doon. At ganun din ang mga bata. Maganda po ito kasi may halimbawa. Takot yung owl, ba diba? Okay lang matakot. It's okay to feel scared. At natutunan din po nung owl na ma-overcome yung fear niya. So ganun din po sa ating mga anak. Pag natakot sila, huwag natin sabihin na huwag ka matakot. Simpleng bagay lang yan. Huwag po natin i-invalidate yung feelings nila. Normal lamang yun. Maraming salamat po. Stay safe and God bless.